handicapper Steve here handicapping the racing from Tampa Bay Downs here on Saturday. It is the 12th of February 2022. We're going to look at the stakes races on the program from Tampa, including the Sam F. Davis. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. We have four races to look at here on the program from Tampa, races 6, 7, 8, and 10. Why couldn't they pack them all into an all-stakes pick four? That's, uh, you know, I, I don't know why they, they had to put in that uh, that ninth race, that turf race. It's a good race, but I just like to see all the races back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, like some cohesiveness. But, um, you know, it doesn't make sense sometimes. But uh, let's get to it. The sixth race from Tampa. It is the Minaret Stakes. It's going for a purse $50,000. Race for Phillies Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of eight horses heading to the main track. The distance of ground of 1,200 meters or the distance of ground of six furlongs on the... Tampa main track, 1,200 meters, six furlongs, and I show the diagram, just gives me a second to look down my notes, just bear with me, sorry I'm stupid, I can't do two things at the same time, my top selection, I'm going to go with the number two horse, Nightcap, we'll go 2, 4, 8, 3 in the Superfecta, 2, 4, 8, 3 Super, top selection, a two horse, Nightcap, this four-year-old filly by JP's Gusto, Robert Raymond trains this one, Jesus Castanon, the veteran, gets the mount, the horse's most recent out, came 16th of January here at Tampa, five and a half, an officer 75 claimer, and the horse home by a neck, and from the track position, he was a little bit wide, but he liked the track. He quickened up nicely, and it was an all-around good race after all said and done. His track can be very weird at times, but, you know, he, he got the job done. Come here, stakes quality horses. I think he has enough pace to win against uh, these horses here today. Two back, I backed him on his turf debut at Tampa. Five for almost the 8th of December and off to 75, and he finished fourth by three lengths. And as a favorite, he just really couldn't get into it. Um, it wasn't his day to win. I actually didn't back him. I backed the winner that day, I believe, at uh, Tampa on the 8th of December. He just never got going. He was very over bet. It wasn't his day to win. Um, does a lot better on dirt. Um, and then prior to that, the Finger Lakes on the dirt, a good sealed main track. Six frongs and allowance race, 26,000. He finished third by two lengths there. They put the blinkers on that day he ran okay but he needed something late uh and then before that race where he went absolutely brilliantly on the 21st september at the, at the finger lakes five and a half in the lounge race twenty four thousand, winning by five lengths on the front and all throughout 25 cents a dollar it was an all-around easy race for him and then they took him to the tapita at prescott six frongs and a lady erie where he finished fifth by four and a quarter lengths he was very very wide very quick fractions it wasn't his day to win. I thought he got beat by a little bit classier horses at the particular time. Coming here, it's not the world's deepest race. He's back to dirt. You know, I think at 72, he's training well. We'll give him a shot here. Don't throw out the four horse feeling uh, mischievous. Javier Castellano gets nuts. He most recently ran here on the 19th of January in a 7th for the afternoon. 32, where he won by one quarter lengths. And from a stock position, I thought he ran great off the refreshing. Before that, they ran him a church on the six front long optional hinder where he absolutely ran crap, finishing eighth by 25 and a quarter lengths. And he just really couldn't get a good run. It was, you know, it, that was a very, very weird race for him. But he's another horse who likes this track. It's the kind of horse for course kind of track. You know, we'll use him on the uh, on the pick uh, three tick or the pick six tick. It begins with this race. Uh, but to recount my selection for the six from Tampa, it's Dominaret. Let's take the two horse nightcap. We'll give kudos to the four horse feeling mischievous. Two, four, eight, three, super. Let's go two, four in your multi race. The seventh race from Tampa. It is the Pelican Stakes. It's going for a purse of $100,000. Race for four year olds and upwards. We have seven horses going sprinting on the main track again. The distance of ground of 1,200 meters meters or the distance of ground of six furlongs on the Tampa main track 1200 meters six furlongs my top selection we're going to go take the number five horse here pudding we'll go five three four seven in the superfecta five three four seven super top selection of five horse pudding love the name hate pudding though uh, i like a good creme on glaze instead of a little thinner but uh, that's for another day this uh samuel gun by two step salsa uh elizabeth doble's train this one gets Lionel reyes up in the saddle the horse's most recent out and came at goldstream park six furlongs on the 15th of january in the sunshine million sprint and he finished third by four and a half lengths. He sat back earlier, but really closed up w well. A little bit wide, but I thought it was a good race after all said and done. Coming here today, a closer can win on this dirt track. I think he could really run a good race. Two back, two back in the claiming crown um, rapid uh, transit at Goldstream. Seven Brongs, 4th of December. He uh, finished third by three and a quarter lengths there. Again, had a little bit of trouble trip. Was closing up well, but I thought he just had a little bit too much ground to gain there late. And then prior to that, an optional 88 goal 
Double Stream, Six Prong, 7th of November. He finished second by a neck that day. And again, he was really closing up well, but the winner just ran a little bit better. He hasn't won since the 8th of August. I came at Gold Stream, Six Prongs, and a handicap, winning by three quarters in length. He had a good low weight that day, which really was to his liking, only carrying 115 pounds. He sat back early, slowly moved his way up, and it was an all around good race. Uh, and, and then he actually won quite a few in a row. He actually won before that at Gold Stream, Seven Prongs, Option 25, winning by two. Again, stupidly wide, but he closed up well. He likes his track also. Horse for course kind of track. Nine for four here with four wins, two seconds, one third. So he only finished out of the money you know, twice here, which isn't bad at all. Coming here, training well, 4-1. to one. Let's give him a shot. Your second likely winner here is a three-horse baby Yoda. We all remember him last summer putting on that big show at Saratoga, Saratoga earning that 114 buyer. But he hasn't shown a lot since then. He, he showed a little bit in the Malibu behind Flightline, but he ran horribly at Mahoning Valley where he should have romped. Ran horribly in the uh, in the Vosburg. Um, you know, he, he's the kind of horse he's either going to run a massive race today or he's going to hit the wall. 6-5, uh, to five, we'll use him on the ticket, but he's been a little bit inconsistent since that uh, great, great victory at Saratoga. But to recap my selection for the 7 from Tampa, it's the Pelican. Let's take the 5-horse Pudding. <laughs> we'll give kudos to the 3-horse Yoda. 5-3-4-7 uh, Super. 5-3 in the multi-race. The 8th race now from Tampa. For the Phillies now, it is the Sunco Stakes. It's going for a purse of $150,000. This race is for three-year-old Phillies. We have eight of them heading to the main track. The distance of ground here of one mile and 40 yards. One mile, 40 yards here in the Sun Coast. And my top selection and a single in the multi-race for me will be the two-horse nest. We'll go 2637 in the Super Factor. 2637 Super. Top selection, two-horse nest. This three-year-old filly by Curlin. Tom Fletcher trains. I Ryder Tease Jr. gets the mount. The horse is most recent out. It came the 4th of December here in New York at Aqueduct. A mile late in the Demoiselle. And the horse went by a neck. And he sat back early a little bit wide. But she slowly moved her way up. And she got the job done. A very, very good run. She looks like a grind. Kind of, kind of horse, kind of horse right now. I love her for the Alabama later this summer at a mile a quarter at Saratoga because she just looks like the kind of horse that could put on a show in that race. But last time on the Demoiselle, an all-around good race there. Two back before that, the runner at Belmont, one mile on the 5th of November in the Tempted, and she finished third by three quarters length there. And, you know, she just sat back early, a little bit wide, but she just couldn't get there. Don't think it was the best ride by Dylan Davis. I also think Jerry Madden just had a light, slightly better trip than this horse. But she needed the race for experience there, uh, but her debut at Belmont, mile 16th on 25th of September in Main Special 83,000 race, and remember watching live so clearly, that was one of those, wow, it's a great performance by her, winning by five lengths, she sat back early, you know, she got the lead, she quickened up nicely, and at 95 cents a dollar, even with some drifting, that was one of those races you just remember afterwards. Uh, coming here today, training well, Palm Beach. You know, I think, uh, you know, she, she's a very, very likely winner in this race. And she's the kind of horse just keep in your mind for uh, when you get to the next round for these Oaks um, prep races. Because she looks like she could be a very um, key horse on the Oaks Trail. And in the Philly, um, three-year-old Philly division this year, um, like I said, if I could get early wagering for the Alabama right now, she would be the horse I would bet for that race. Because, like I said, I think a model quarter she's absolutely going to love. But to recap my selection for the 8th from Tampa, it is the Suncoast Stakes. Let's take the two-horse Nest. We'll go 2637 in the Super. We're going to single this two-horse in the multi-race. Now we're going to skip over the ninth race, even though I said it's a very good it means uh, allowance race on turf, but we're going to skip it over for prosperity reasons and head over to the 10th race from Tampa which is the feature of the program it is the Sam F. Davis Stakes. It's a great three event going for a purse of a quarter of a million dollars race for three year olds here. We have a field of 13 horses. A baker's dozen entered only 12 could go to the main track here. The distance of ground of 1200 meters, or excuse me 1700 meters or the distance of ground of a mile and 1 16th on the Tampa main track 1700 meters a mile 16th here in the Sam F. Davis my top selection we're gonna go take here the number seven horse make it big we're gonna go 712 Three eight in the superfecta 712 three eight super top selection to seven horse make it big this um, uh, three-year-old cult by Neolithic Safi Joseph Jr. trains Jose Ortiz gets the mounts 
horse's most recent outing came in Oklahoma at uh, Remington Park, 17th of uh, December, one mile in the springboard mile, and the horse went by a half length and had a dream stalking position all the way around, a little bit wide at the top of the lane, but when this horse got the go button, he kept going, small margin of victory, but he really put on a show, come here today, drawn very well, could get a good stalking position in this race with some good speed, I think he's really sitting on a very good run, two back in the juvenile sprint at Goldstream, seven furlongs the 30th of October, facing state bred Florida breads that day, the horse from by two and a quarter lengths, and again, from a stalking position after not the best beginnings, he sat back early, slowly moved his way up, and when he got the job done, he got a jo the job done in hand, an all-around good race from there, and then the 9th of October at Goldstream, seven for the main special weight, winning by eight and a half length. Uh, that day, he sat a little bit closer, and he just kept going, a little bit drifting, but that's because of some inexperience, and he was out by a bunch, but he still got the job done nicely, training well at Goldstream, should like the two turns again, nine to two, I think there's race shapes up for him. I also think think a horse you have to use in your multi-race is a 12-horse kitten mischief. This three-year-old gelding by Into the Mischief, Jonathan Thomas trains. Manny Franco gets him out. Most recently, they ran him on the 9th of January at Goldstream, one mile in the main, at optional 75. He finished second by two and a quarter lengths there, and the horse just, you know, couldn't get there um, late. I do think a little bit longer trip. This track suited him well, but she's, he's going to have to get a good trip from the outside post. It's very, very hard to win from the 12-hole -hole here at Goldstream um, at uh, Tampa. Goldstream also, but especially here at Tampa. Before that, he ran near, here in New York and Aqueduct on the mud, one mile off the turf in Main Special Way 8,000. He won by a neck again, a little bit wide, but he was dueling and he got the job done. He's training well in dirt. At 12 to 1, we'll give him a shot in the slate pick four, along with the number three horse, Classic Causeway. He placed most recently in the Kentucky Jockey Club, where he just really couldn't catch the winner, who just ran a little bit better. Uh, before then, the Breeders of Charity, he got caught late, but he was drawn 13 of 13, which is just very, very unlucky going on. 16th at um, at Keeneland. He's drawn a lot better today. He could show some early speed. If the speed's going to win, it's going to be him from the inside. 3-1. to one. We'll use him in this very nice late pick 3 or pick 6, whatever we decide to play. But to recount my selections now for the 10th from Tampa Bay Downs, it is the great three quarter million dollar Sam F. Davis. As a top selection, we'll take the 7 horse, make it big. We'll give kudos to the 12 horse, Kent Mischief, and the 3 horse, Classic Causeway. 7-12-3-8 Super. 7-12-3 in the multi-race. So good luck to all and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Cat 5. Good luck, everybody.